All right, good day. Welcome, loves. Welcome to my channel, Libra. This is going to be a reading. All right, let's see what we have here uh, for the Libra and Collective. Oh, it's kind of cold in here. It's been a really cool spring, but I don't mind. So we get enough hot, humid weather the way it is. So let's see what we have for the Libra and Collective here. All right. All right, three more shuffles and we'll get to it. There's one, two, and three. All right. Let's see what we have coming out for the Libra and Collective. I'm using a different deck for you guys, all right? I kind of go where I'm called to. We have here the Void. All right. Ooh, I don't like that. It's not the best energy here. So we do have the Acceptance showing up here. Um, Librans, or no, it's not. It's the darkness. God, sorry. The darkness, not the void. It's similar imagery. Um, it's really dark. I mean, not exactly the same, but um, yeah. Let's let's get one more out here for the Librans here. So we have the surrender. You guys, there's the fucking void. All right, there's a reason why. I do things the way I do. It's all on intuitive vibes, all right? Um, so there's the void that I was already feeling before the card came out here. So surrender, all right? You're living in the void, you're living in the darkness, and it isn't serving you very well. You know, that's the thing I always tell people, like, if you hear people bragging about being dark and always got some dark twist, that ain't darkness. All right, that just leaves you in a goddamn void, a void of nothing. It's like nothing. It's like darkness all around you, no matter if it's sunny out or not. It's, yeah. All right, let's do one more shuffle here. All right, for the Librans. It's always some lame stuff for you guys. I don't get it. I just literally got the death here um, and the two of swords here. So you need to focus more on healing here, um, going in and doing some self-evaluating there with the Hermit here and the Six of Cups. So you're at a crossroads here in your life. That's why you're stuck in the void. You're stuck in the darkness. The universe is saying you need to surrender. Um, there you are, Libra. We have double eights back to back here. All right, with you here. You need to walk away from this self-victimized, boo-hoo vibe and lifestyle that you live, all right? This playing the victim isn't serving you well, all right? Leave it behind because it just keeps you stuck. Nothing good ever comes. How could it when you have the void, the darkness, and the surrender here? And then we have here at the top, we have the Five of Pentacles. You want to know why you have hardships? You want to know why you maybe live in poverty? Um, and what I mean by poverty, um, it's about the, the type of environment that you live in. All right. I feel like your mindset is just as low as like below poverty um, level here. Your, your, the, your, my, your vibe attracts your environment or the what you surround yourself with is what you bring in around you, all right? So if you do live in a very junky area, um, hell, you know, nowadays there's so many fucking junkies, but it's like I'm just getting just hardships um, below poverty level. And it's because you stay in this eight of swords, you are stuck mentally. It's like you are trapped and blocked. You've built this life on being the victim. But I feel like with the Queen of Swords, your words are probably what did it. Because you guys can be some mouthy people, all right? And it can come back, all right? You guys can be bitter. You can be spiteful, all right? Each zodiac sign has a capability of being these things. It's just some are more extreme than others. Um, yeah, I feel like it's like you're just very paranoid because you've created this for yourself. Why? I don't know. 
Why are you at it? Why don't you want to transition? I don't know. So you're blocked off from doing any healing is really what I'm getting. Any, It's like you're not focused on higher learning, higher knowledge, wisdom, spirituality. You're just blocked off from all of that. We have here the hermit here. All right. Yeah. You need to go in and do some straight contemplating. You want to know, like I said, why you have hardships and why you live maybe barely making ends meet, just looking downright rugged. And this isn't to put people down. This is for people to wake up and see that what you do comes back on you. Your vibe attracts your tribe. Your vibe attracts the lifestyle you have. In the lifestyle you live, it has consequences. All right, I never get anything good for Librans. So we had here the the Five of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the Hermit here. All right, so I feel like you're a narcissistic. Because you're, it's like your thoughts aren't even reality. You're blocked off, you're resistant, you, 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 you try to play the victim all the time and always have your guard up, always defending this and this and this. But in reality, think about what you're really doing here. All right? Because I feel like the answers are all around you, but you're ignoring the most important one up here. If you've contemplated, do you bring on your own hardships? Yeah, you do. You bring on your own hardships. Your lifestyle, everything. And that's why it's saying just surrender. All right? Who fucking cares? I mean, I never understood people that always feel like they have to defend themselves. Like, who cares? No matter what you say or do, at the end of the day, people are still going to think what they want to think. You can't change that. You can't control that. You can't control other people. All right? Um, so we have here the two of wands here. It's like you're blocked off from seeing the reality. You're blocked off from doing the healing work. Because I saw that six of cups again. You're just completely blocked off. We have here, yeah, look at this. You are just a toxic being. That's all I can really say. You're a toxic being. All right. Could be dealing with the Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. We have Scorpio here. Um, but it's like, yeah, you're at a crossroads. You're at a stalemate. It's like you don't know which way to go here. So why is the devil here? Other than obsessive, compulsive issues is kind of what I'm getting. Oh, so we have here the four of pentacles and the five of cups. So you're clinging on to like any losses in your life as like a crutch in life to use as a crutch. A lot of people do that. They, they, they find reasons why they're the way they are. So we have here the page of swords. All right. Um, and then we have what here? The king of wands. Um, with the five of, ah, who wants to be here then? With the five of cup or wands. So you could be watching a fire sign here. Water sign. Could be two lovers here that you're really focused on here is kind of what I'm getting. I feel like you also need to focus your life somewhere else. All right. Um, but, you know, you could be watching somebody, trying to compete with them, trying to argue with them. Yeah. We have that, yeah. It's like you just keep pressing a mother. You just keep trying to press somebody. All right, let's get this wrapped up. Let's get this wrapped up. The Four of Swords here. You need to focus on seeking peace of mind. You need to go see a shrink, a therapist. All right, um... Yeah, a shrink, a therapist, something here. So let's be done here. I feel like you get stomach aches a lot, headaches a lot. Um, it A lot of people's issues are because of the energy and the blockages. Um, but yeah, it's like, maybe some of y'all are going to end up going to prison. I don't know jails something if you don't walk away and leave this behind all right if you're stalking lurking any of that type of shit slandering with the five of wands here talking shit starting arguments we have here the five of yeah 
you can go to you can get in trouble for that stuff. If you're, you know, doing things with the five of wands that could like hurt somebody, you could end up going to jail. All right. We have here the ace of swords. There's your that fourth cup that you're ignoring. But I feel like something could be coming in very quickly that's going to kind of surprise you is what I'm getting um, with that Knight of Swords here. So, yeah, if somebody is taking you, you don't see it right now. Um, yeah, I feel like you just create a lot of illusions here. All right, through conversation with the Eight of Wands here. Um, especially with the community with the three of cups. So yeah, you are your toxicity, your obsessive behaviors. Um, yeah, getting cluster B. All right. So you need to just surrender to the void, to the darkness and let it go because it's, it's destroying you. It's destroying your life and everybody around you. Um, there could be death around you a lot. All right. Sometimes spirit works in ways that we may not understand or agree with, but it's spirit's way, like I've always said, some, it's kind of like the mob, right? Sometimes you have to go after other people around individuals because that can hit them harder than any jab that's thrown at themselves. So, you know, a lot of times you guys are okay with dealing with your own demise and your own self-inflicting things, but when it happens to other people around you that you may love or people that you love around them, it can happen, all right? So it's to wake you up. Sometimes people got to take hard lessons in life. So I'm going to leave that there, all right? Um, yeah. <laughs>